Hello and welcome back to the Beefy Tech channel. Today we're taking a look at Warzone 1 Caldera, specifically because the game's coming to a halt very, very soon. So I want to take one more look at how the game's holding up, the performance, and to see if it's even functional. Let's hit it. All right, we are here within Warzone Caldera. I've got a little performance metric thing up in the top right hand corner if you care about any of that stuff, but uh, I do want to mention the server is really laggy. I don't know if you can tell by the gun switching, but <laughs> there's definitely some sort of latency spikes happening here. And I can imagine they're using probably the worst servers they have available for this game because they are going to shut it down. Oh, huh. I don't know if I can shoot that guy out. But regardless, uh, it's good to see that we're getting a laggy server as our final server of the year. And of this game forever, because it is a lot more representative of <laughs> how the game actually played when it was out. Performance in this side of the map was always absolutely horrific. Let's see if, how it holds. I remember when I first uh, jumped here in Caldera, I was like at 150 FPS with the CPU I had at the time. Now it's obviously a bit better on the 7800X3D, but... Uh, yeah, sheesh kebab, this server is really laggy. Even just moving around feels sluggish because of the lag. Uh, to be fair with you guys, this game feels outdated with everything except the movement. The movement's probably the only thing that felt really good, but with this lag it doesn't even feel that good because of it, but everything else, like, just feels slightly outdated. The whole mechanics of the game feel outdated because, truthfully, they are. The new game does a great, uh, great job with that to improve how the game feels in terms of mechanics. Oh. And as you can see, this game works absolutely perfectly fucking fine and has no issues whatsoever. What can I fucking tell you? Anyway. <laughs> Jesus. I, 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 this is the first try, by the way. Like, I'm not making this shit up. This game is working like this on my first try and uh, I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised. But look. This game during its Verdansk times was peak entertainment. It was awesome, but in Caldera times it obviously fell greatly because it just isn't what it used to be. You can tell by the fact that eh, this game's old as shit and there's still lag, there's still server issues, there's still glitches left and right. I mean, I'm not even surprised that the servers are going down because the game just has so many issues and they're anyway going to focus on their new titles now and the new Warzone experience over this. I, it took me 30 minutes to just get a game, and nothing's happening in this game. The entire lobby feels dead. There's 77 people in the lobby for this. And the server's still lagging with only 77 people in it. Alright, well, I found the action and it wasn't fun. Let's see if we can win this, though. Are you kidding me? So, basically the game just devered. Not only that, it had bugs during the game where the loadout flew under the ground. And, to top that off, the server was so laggy, I was visibly moving in slow motion. So yes, the game is barely functional as is, but nobody likes Warzone Caldera anyway, everybody's reminiscing about Verdansk. And to be honest with you, me too. Because the shots that I hit in Verdansk, and also the performance that I was getting in Verdansk is what I was there for. I was playing with friends, enjoying the game, and hitting crazy stuff like you just saw over there, day in and day out. And I loved the game for that. It was such an addicting effect, and everything performed well. Still, I was getting 140 to 170 FPS on an RTX 3070, and the game felt smooth. And back then, I couldn't be any happier with that. Now, to be honest with you, where it all started for me was with this plunder match, where I hit the craziest snipe that I hit in a long, long time on any game out there. Of course, this is Plunder, so obviously it's not as cool, but for me, a guy that was playing the game for only a week at the time, this was a life-changing shot, because this is what got me addicted to Warzone in the first place. I'm sure you all had your moment where you just felt that addiction to Warzone for the first time and you couldn't let go, but that right there was the point for me. And I have to say, Warzone Caldera might be going, but Warzone itself... Warzone 1 that we all love has been dead for a long time. We've got Modern Warfare 3 open beta coming up on October 6th, and I'm excited. Because looking back on things, Verdansk, even in its prime, had so many issues that are today perfectly fixed. Even the cheater issue is nowhere near as big of a deal, because these days you've got people just getting shadow banned even if they're not cheating, so it's a very trigger-free anti-cheat. But that just means there's not as many cheaters, or anywhere near what we were dealing with in Warzone 1 
regardless of Caldera, regardless of Verdansk. Verdansk was even worse than Caldera, but Caldera in itself was so bad it didn't matter that there was less cheaters. There still were, but just less. To be honest with you guys, I like that Warzone 2 is going in the direction that it is. They basically fixed all of the issues Warzone 1 had and are now giving us what they should have given us a year ago with Modern Warfare 2, but in Modern Warfare 3 in the form of a $70 upgrade. <laughs> to be fair though, Warzone will still be free and is getting that update for free. So I'm honestly satisfied with that. Warzone Caldera is dying, but Warzone Verdansk has died a long time ago, and maybe just maybe they're going to be kind to us and give us Verdansk back, even if it's just for a short period of time or maybe as part of map rotation. But we'll see. Honestly, I'm glad Warzone Caldera is done for because I hated every second of it. But Warzone Verdansk will indeed be missed. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you'll get to enjoy Modern Warfare 3 along with me, assuming it's actually a good game. Have a good one and enjoy.